The euro has bounced up 3% and the Japanese yen about 4.5% since their mid-July 2022 weakest points. Is this the end of the U.S. dollar rally or just a pause? The case for the upward bounce in the euro and yen was primarily based on the idea that U.S. inflation had peaked, which was supported by the surprisingly large decline in headline inflation reported for July in the mid-August data release. Some analysts argued that if inflation had indeed peaked, then it would take pressure off the Federal Reserve to push U.S. rates higher, faster. The opposing scenario argues that while headline U.S. inflation may have peaked, still way too high at 8.5% to declare victory. That one data point does not necessarily make a trend. And don't forget that core inflation, excluding food and energy, is hovering close to 6% and may prove quite sticky. This camp argues that the Fed is nowhere near ready to declare victory and will continue to push short-term rates aggressively higher, at least for now.